All right, guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today is another day when we're replacing, uh, I'm gonna be replacing the oil filter housing gasket on this car. Uh, so I already started the job. As you can see, I have the car jacked up on this side and I'll have to remove this uh, left front wheel. And uh, it's pretty simple. I already have all the parts and I'm gonna pull that thing out. And what I'm trying to accomplish is uh, I'm trying to fix as many of these OM617 oil leaks as possible. Uh, because it's pretty common you know after 30 40 years uh they start leaking a lot so i already did a bunch of stuff on this engine check out my playlist about you know w123 uh, uh this is actually uh, my dad's gift and i'll be shipping this car to my dad so uh yeah check out the playlists and previous videos that i did on this car and let's get started and the car is jacked up and uh what i did is i already loosened the oil filter housing uh, uh, cooling lines well oil, oil cooling lines uh, upper and bottom and um, I just used a big uh, adjustable wrench for that and I also had to loosen the 10 millimeter retainer right there and down there as well so I can actually move these lines back and forth okay uh, otherwise uh, it would be really difficult all right so i had to loosen those up and that's it and then i also uh loosened these uh, 13 millimeter nuts on top and i removed the uh, cap from the oil filter housing that way the oil can flow down into the oil pan and uh, also before doing all this job make sure that all these uh vacuum lines you know you know where they actually go so you can reconnect them to the right spot later on and um uh, as of right now, I'm gonna go underneath and I'm gonna remove um, six millimeter Allen bolts holding the oil filter housing in. And before that, I have to loosen the line, the oil um, uh, oil pressure line that goes to the cluster. I'm using a line wrench, 12 millimeter for that. And then I'll have to, on the other side, I'll have to uh, undo the um, uh, turbo oil feed line um, that comes from the oil filter housing and then as you can see I have this rod, rod removed and I'll be pulling this guy out um, and I'll be cleaning it and also lubricating this guy and then I'll put it back together okay so I have a lot of plans today so I'm under the car and as you can see there's the oil filter housing and as you can see it has a lot of leaks that's because i loosened the oil cooler lines and and they started leaking and then right here my is my 12 millimeter line wrench and i'm gonna be loosening up that oil pressure line and then i have a lot of i think i have like five um six millimeter allen bolts that i have to remove and after that this thing is gonna drop and i have to loosen that uh oil feed line to the turbo as well the banjo bolt some of the bolts are really hard to get to so sometimes you won't be able to get a, your bit in there but you might have to use uh, an allen key or something um and you will have to be really patient and as you can see right there i loosened that uh, oil uh, feed line and also the oil pressure uh, line and right now i'm just removing those bolts and uh, uh, this thing will be ready to come out and also for one of the bolts right there uh it's you can't get a regular socket or anything in there so you will have to use uh, an allen key like this it's also six millimeter but it's cut it's actually ground down so it's shorter so it's gonna fit right where you need it to be um and then that way you'll be able to loosen this up and then if you need more leverage, you'll have to actually install some uh, vice grips on this and then turn it that way. The engine is pretty oily, so after the repairs, I'll be doing the cleanup and everything. I want to make it as clean as possible. Hey guys, I'm still under the car and as you can see, this is my Allen key that goes to the bolt and you have to use a shortened uh, Allen key, which is six millimeter as well and uh, ground down and uh, what I'm using, sometimes I put the vice grip on this, but if the bolt is really tight, I have to use a quarter inch uh, extension like this with a quarter inch size, uh, six millimeter 
uh, socket on it and then I put the socket onto the key like so and then I basically turn it okay and then you have to reposition it obviously so and then you just need to be patient okay and don't strip these bolts uh, it's really important so be very careful what you do and uh, you'll be fine uh, anyways after I remove this stuff I'm gonna uh, probably it's probably gonna come down through the bottom we'll see hopefully um, or from the top I'll let you know once you loosen all the bolts make sure you set a pan underneath because some oil will still come out and uh, also remember when uh, you remove the turbo feed line some oil will come out and also the cooling lines Here's the oil filter housing. I was able to lower it down from the top, from the bottom, I'm sorry. And uh, I'll show you right now uh, how this looks right here. Okay, so. And I really hate what I'm seeing in there. This is crazy. I'm about to show you what I'm seeing, guys. This is not good. So, it's pretty nuts. I don't know who works on cars and how they can do stuff like this but this is crazy uh, this is really totally unacceptable i'm about to show you what i found uh, but i'm just so upset with people you know literally so upset so i'm under the car right now with the oil filter housing out and right here as you can see somebody used a lot of rtv in here it's really crazy and really sad uh, I need to clean all this stuff up and I need to pray that none of my oil passages are blocked this is nuts uh, please don't ever do that okay you can put some RTV on the oil pan gasket but not on this this is so critical this goes to your oil galleries, galleries and everything come on never put rtv on things like this oh boy and uh the sad part is that my uh rear cover of the injection pump is leaking as well uh, that's really sad and uh i don't think i'll be able to do anything about that other than cleaning it because this gasket is not available anymore and right now i'm not gonna really go through all this and uh replace it so uh but i'll clean it up and i'll see maybe the uh actual uh shut off valve gasket is bad so we will see but yeah this is crazy i'm about to clean all this stuff up and get it all ready and nice and clean Here's the gasket so I kind of know what happened and I think I'm correct but this injection pump has been off before um, and they did something to it and they put it back uh, and then instead of ordering a one dollar gasket they just decided to smear a bunch of RTV sealant on here and just let it go like this good damn job here are new gaskets they'll be installing okay this is this is this gasket right here is for the uh, oil filter housing itself there's another gasket for it and then this one is the main uh, oil filter housing gasket uh, it goes on the block itself one thing to remember is uh, before you install uh, this oil filter housing and make sure that you install this bolt because it's a really long bolt and you will not be able to install it uh, if you put it on the car so you have to install this oil filter housing when this bolt is still in uh, together like that so anyways now I'm gonna have a big job I'm gonna be cleaning all this stuff and making sure this thing is clean 
needs a bunch of work and there's the gasket where this, this gasket goes right here I'll have to replace this one as well Okay guys, everything is ready to go here. I cleaned the gasket surface area and also cleaned the back of the ejection pump. I, I really think that it's a shuttle valve gasket that's causing the issue, but as of right now, I just cleaned everything up. I'm gonna put the well filter housing back in, reconnect everything, install a new gasket, and uh, you know, we'll start the engine eventually, maybe today or tomorrow. And uh, I'll probably order that shutoff valve gasket. And I'll try to find that uh, rear cover plate gasket for it as well for the injection pump hopefully I'll find one and if not who knows I might have to actually uh, make one myself in the future but as of right now I'm not really working I'm not really worried about that gasket uh, that's in there so you know I just really think that it's probably coming from the shutoff valve gasket so I'll definitely replace that and you know unfortunately I can't tell where exactly it's coming from because it's got a lot of oil leaks and everything was just saturated in the oil there so it is what it is as of right now uh, I'm gonna install this oil filter housing uh, back and uh, uh, you know after that I'll finish cleaning some of this area and I'm just really happy that uh, you know I removed all this stuff and found an issue uh, which you know didn't really surprise me because I've seen that before not really on this gasket but I've seen other places where people would put RTV in such crazy places where you don't really you're not supposed to but it is what it is don't forget that this long bolt has to be pre-installed before you install the oil filter housing because otherwise the steering gear box is going to be in the way and you won't be able to install that bolt you'll have to take everything out again so I don't forget this bolt okay guys so the oil filter housing is in and uh, right now I'm installing the uh, bottom and upper oil cooling lines and I also added some copper paste right there if you can see um, just to prevent any seizure in the future you know for ease of removal next time blah 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 um, next uh, after that obviously I'll reinstall uh, or tighten those two bowls that I told you for the cooling line retainers and uh, I just uh, also reconnected the turbo uh, feed line and uh, I'm about to reconnect this uh, oil pressure level uh, oil pressure sensor and actually had it covered up in this so no dirt would get inside of it 